today I'm going to show you how to paint a carousel figure, so let's go. Well, what we have today is a little bit peculiar. It is some wanky looking, you know, Bugs Bunny wannabe. And this is actually the first time that I'm going to paint on a figure like that. So, of course, because the industry that I'm currently working for doesn't own the rights for Disney, I will have to change a few colors compared to the original. And, uh, well, I mean, you've got to paint with what you're handed, so let's go. So, the first thing I have to do is apply a coat of primer, so, well, follow me. So we are not sponsored, but I just wanted to make a quick shout out to the brand Bezar because I think their line of product is just amazing. So if you want to do the same thing as I do, I highly advise you to go check them out. Safety first. So next I will paint everything in white and start decorating, so let's go! So once again I am using Beza painting, I prepared myself a good amount with 10% of solvent. And uh, always remember to use a filter whenever you're pouring your paint inside your spray gun because you never know if there's not going to be any junk on the bottom of the pot. Let's go for round two! So, well, all that's left for me to do is let it dry and I'll come back in 30 minutes. The first thing I'm going to work on is going to be the fur. So, I prepared myself a bunch of paint gun. So, inside this one is pure black. Um, I pre-opened this one to show you that uh, inside this one is some dirty pink, I would say. And I still have the white inside this one paint gun here. And uh, so, I will start with the fur. I will do something in between, you know, realistic and cartoony. Then I will do the eyes, the carrot, and uh, I'll end up with the vest. So, well, let's start painting. Here is the first step. So, well, the thing is, now that the fur is done, um, I'm going to do the eye, and then we will be able to move on to uh, the jacket, or the costume, you know, whatever you want to call it. So, well, let's do the eyes. Well, so I prepared myself two shades of blue to do the eyes, and, uh, well, I will remove the pink that's inside this one, and I will be able to start doing the eyes. So, there are multiple ways to actually paint the eye. You can of course use a brush, and uh, I mean it works fine, you know. But personally I like to use the paint gun. So what I will do is that I will tape uh, the whole eye, I will draw the iris, cut down, you know, the parts that I need to remove, and uh, well, I will use the paint gun to do the shading and it will just look smoother, so let's go! So well guys, before I continue, you know, one good piece of advice when you are using tape is make sure to cover as much as possible, if not everything. Because uh, when you are going to use your paint gun, the hair is actually going to blow paint everywhere and you don't want to have any leaks. Especially when you are working on surfaces that's bright, you know, like, you know, the rabbit is white. Um, having any trace, any leak on white is going to be a pain in the ass to, to remove. So, well, just be aware of that. So, well, when... Because now everything is done, let's go with the brighter blue. So, let's pour it in. Alright, not too much. So now I'm going to use 
the darker blue uh, on the top part of the iris because you've got to remember that the iris inside your eyes is curved and so what it means is that if the light is coming from the top it's always going to hit uh, at the bottom <laughs> Well, guys, for me it is lunch time right now, and uh, well, I'll find you guys later. Peace. A few moments later. All right, guys, I'm back from lunch. Time for me to pour myself a good cup of coffee, and uh, well, let's get back on train. So the next step for me will be to remove the tape, uh, draw the pupil, and uh, add well, just a little touch of uh, of light. So well, let's do that. So for now, I would say I'm pretty much done with the with the face. You know. Um, like I said, you know, this is a carousel figure. It doesn't have to be like hyper realistic. Plus, I mean, it's meant to be a cartoon, you know. So, well, I think I'm done with that. All right now, I'm going to move on uh, to either do a suit and a tie, you know, that's one of the things, or just do the best, you know. I, don't, I mean, I'll think about it along the way. So, well, let's move on. Like I said earlier, uh, the customer wants the vest to be like bright green, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do a darker green here, you know, it will kind of serve as, uh, as the shading and a very, very light and very flashy green on this side. So, well, let's, let's see how it goes. different ways you can use to paint on these carousel figures and the most common one would be to use the paint gun. The main issue with the paint gun is that I have to tape everything. I have to turn the cabin on, I have to put on my mask and to be honest it's a lot of work and I'm a little bit lazy so there is an alternative to that and it's using a brush. Using a brush allows me to add texture, go faster, so all in all I think it's a big deal. So, well, let's do it. So, now I will let it dry for a little bit and then I will come back with a darker green in order to, well, apply the shading. All right, now let's move on to the darker shades. Well, guys, it's been one hour and something like 20 minutes, and uh, well. Here's the result. Of course, well, it's not going to be perfect because, uh, well, I did it uh, with a brush, but I mean, it kind of adds, you know, some handmade uh, thing to it, you know, that you wouldn't be able to get uh, with uh, the hairbrush. And so, well, the last thing I need to do is the carrot. Uh, there is a tie also, maybe with a, with a suit, and uh, I'll probably be done, so. I'll check you guys later. Next step is going to be with the camera. All right, the carrot is done. Phew. Well, so the very last step before I'm done with this piece is going to be the tie. So, well, let's go for it. Let's finish this piece. Alright guys, well, these are the misfortunes of the workplace, but I couldn't uh, finish what I wanted to do in time. Um, I was asked to kind of uh, rush the process, and I didn't have time to mount the camera and all of that, so, well, 
the piece is finished and uh, here is the final product. Enjoy! <laughs> Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed doing it. Uh, it took me some whole day, actually. My last step is going to do the clear coat, and, but I will do that off camera and um, I will probably put a few pictures of the finished piece at the end of the video. And uh, well, other than that, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and you can also check uh, my Instagram and Facebook in the link in the description, so well, see you guys later, peace!